Hi guys, um, my name is Alexander and I'm a home barista in Cape Town. I'm self-taught via YouTube and I've got several years of experience. Um, one of the things that I found very difficult in the beginning when I received my espresso machine and grinder was how do I dial in my espresso grinder for my machine, right? There were just too many variables, there were too many information websites on the internet. So, to simplify this for you, I've decided since I'm in lockdown and due to the coronavirus, I'm going to create a video so that I can contribute to all the espresso and barista and barista out there. So, this is a normal Coca-Cola bottle in South Africa and to explain what I'm going to do to you, I'm going to simplify this quickly for you. We're going to remove the top part of the burr grinder, right? If this is the grinder, we're going to remove the top part of the burr grinder, right? And since this is a stepless grinder, it means within these variables, there is an infinity amount of different settings. If you think every little turn is a setting and between them are more settings, right? We're going to remove it. We're going to turn it back all the way to its closest and locked position so that I can't turn it anymore. And we're going to slightly turn back open it up a bit closer, right? And from there on, we're gonna dispense it into our water filter and pour a shot to see what we've got. So, but this machine is a compact K3, I'm gonna remove the bean hopper. Um, I've already removed the pin here, I'm gonna remove the pin, and I'm gonna open up this grinder completely. By turning it clockwise, open up. Normally I wouldn't do this, it's just to, as I said, to simplify, simplify this process for you. You remove it completely, your grinder, right? And let's get rid and dispense all the beans that are currently in the grinder. Okay. So now that all the beans are removed, um, all the beans are removed. Let's take the top part and secure it in the lock position again. Right? As indicated with the Coca Cola bottle, I'm going to tighten this now again to its full lock position. It's tough to turn this, and um, it makes it a bit more rigid. Okay, so this is the lock position, right? So I literally can't turn it anymore, okay? It's the furthest this machine can go. If you have a look here, uh, if this is the zero mark, right, this machine is on zero now, um, I literally can't turn it anymore, it's stuck there, right, so let's put the bean hopper back on, you can take any beans, uh, especially beans for this exercise, I'm going to fill the, the grass the bean hopper, right, and as indicated earlier on, I'm going to, because the, because the, uh, ah, the grinder burrs are touching one another. I'm going to slightly lift them up by um, making the grind a bit coarser. Right? So if you want to have a look at this zero mark, I'm going to, for instance, uh, put it at, it's very tough to turn around there. So I've slightly um, made them apart. So now I'm going to turn the machine on, right? And just run some beans through run some beans through it, right? Okay, and as you can see, there are barely any beans or any uh, stoppy grind coming out. It's because the grind is so fine, right? So I'm gonna open it a bit more up till I see more beans coming out, right? Still nothing, 
So I want to see. Uh -huh. And there you go. Okay. So now that I've got beans running out for the first time, right, I'm going to take my water filter, clean it from the last shot, right, uh, and I'm going to take a scale, which is not essential. You can't do or you can't produce a coffee without a scale, no matter who, who says what, right? So you take the scale, you tear it to zero, you insert your porter filter, right? This is a 17 gram basket, I'm going to run 17 grams of coffee through uh, into the porter filter. Right, let's just see how much it is. 14. 15.7, 17.5, which is fine for me. Tamp it. Just have a look at how quickly it runs through. Um, take any cup, put it on your scale. So what you're looking for is 34 grams in, um, in 25 to 30 seconds, right? A two to one ratio, and you will be able to see if it, that's way too quick just by having a look at it. It's already 35 more than four seconds. So, what does it mean? It means my beans are too coarse, right? If you think of big rocks and you pour big, uh, big rocks and you pour water onto the big rocks, it's going to run through the rocks, right? So, I need to make my rocks look a lot like sand, right? And make it finer. So since that was so quick, I know I, I know I need to make a big adjustment. So I'm going to make it a lot finer. Right? And one of the important things is, remember this is an instant grinder, so it grinds. And once I've stopped, there's always a little bit of grind still left, a little bit in say five or eight grams within um, the um, grinding burrs itself. So I'm just getting rid of that quickly. Right? So now I know the beans are exactly at the last setting that I've just adjusted to. Right? So again, I'm looking for 17 grams of coffee. Looking for 17 grams, that's 17.3. It's perfect, All right? Give it a nice light tamp. No. Okay, let's go for it again. So, we're not looking at the coffee at the moment, we're just looking at the settings. For instance, how many grams and how many seconds. That's to start off with, you turn it on. The first one gram is seen as a pre infusion, right? So, from now on, it's going to time. We're looking again for a two to one ratio 17 grams of coffee in, 34 grams out, right? And we want that in. 25 to 32 seconds. That's a ballpark figure. One or two seconds on the other side doesn't really have a big influence. Okay, so that's going to be slightly a little bit, as you can see, a little bit too slow. All right, so I'm just going to stop it right there. So I'm going to need to make a slightly very slight, I'm gonna say with this type of grinder, since I know my grinder, I'm gonna make it a, say, a one more or two more adjustment. There we go, all right? So now, as I mentioned previously, what we're gonna do now is just gonna take the scale again, and I'm just gonna get rid of the previous five grams of ground uh, beans within the hopper. Just get rid of it, all right? Okay, now tear it. Looking for 17 grams. Okay, let's look for 17 grams. That's 17.4. That's fine. Right. Okay, so what we're looking for again is 34 grams of coffee with the heat 25 to 34 seconds.
this is gonna be a perfect shot. There you go. So 34 grams in about 32 seconds. Right? And as you can see here, we've got some nice tiger stripings and a tiger tail and all of the good things to do. So just to rephrase again, think of this exercise as a Coke bottle. We're going to remove the top of the burrs, right? For your exercise, if you know what you're doing, you don't need to remove it. Just turn it all the way to its lock position so that you can't turn it anymore. Slightly make it a bigger adjustment, make it a bit coarser, right? See if you can run beans through. If not, a bit, a bit slightly bigger, slightly bigger, slightly bigger, right? And um, if you've got your 17 grams um, dispensed into your water filter, let it run through your machine. If it uh, runs too fast, you know that the um, unwinding of your um, burrs was too big, right? The setting and make a slightly finer adjustment. From here on out, your grinders now have set at the perfect setting. And throughout the day, within the mornings, if you know your coffee, there's going to be a bit of variables like the moisture in the air, and you're going to need to make fine adjustments. Fine adjustments in this instance is going to be a millimeter or two finer or coarser throughout the day. But for all the inexperienced users at your house, just leave your espresso machine grinder as is.